Let us know in the comments below who your favourite wombat is and which animals you'd like to see next. <gasps> morning, you're ready to go. This is Kato coming out for the morning, having a bit of her breakfast. Now, I do have the biggest soft spot for Kato. She definitely is my favourite wombat because she was the first ever marsupial that I got to create a really special bond with. Kato is a common wombat, which means her fur is quite coarse, almost feels just like a paintbrush. She's the sweetest, most loving girl, and now at 20 years old, she's living next to her sister, who is in fact named by Bindi. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Oh. Are you going back to bed? Going to get Ellie out of bed. Wake up the little squishy bum. Wayne is her life-size plush toy wombat that she sleeps with. Yeah, Ellie, that's not your plate. Ellie. Good girl. Good girl, squishy. Good morning. So this is Ellie. She's uh, four years old. She was born here at the zoo. She got hand raised by a couple of the keepers here at the zoo, um, which makes her very special to all of us. We actually just celebrated her fifth birthday, surrounded by all her favorite keepers. She loves her scratches and her cuddles. But she definitely is the cheeky one out of all of them. Now let's talk about wombats and digging holes. Now wombats being a terrestrial marsupial, they obviously strictly live on the ground, but Wombats are burrowers, so they have tendencies to dig holes here in their habitat. But we're okay with that because we have these giant sand pits where they can go for gold. We get to use our muscles filling in these holes just for them to start all over again the next day. Get the corn. <laughs> Oh, come on. All right, so this is Bunker. He is our little meal here at Australia Zoo. He is a special little boy. We have introduced him to his future girlfriend, Ellie. So far, he hasn't quite figured it out. Now, just like all wombats, he's definitely got a lot of character and a lot of energy. I definitely would want to be eating all my corn and my own as well. Nice and peaceful. <laughs> So we met Bunker, um, but let me introduce you to my favorite wombat. This is Meg, and Meg right now is doing what Meg loves to do. Meg is 20 years old, which is exceptional for a wombat. They can live up to about 15 years old in the wild. Now, Meg, as you've already seen, loves to sleep. And uh, in the morning when we come in and we're getting the day ready and we're tidying around her, she will just hide and bury her face to the last minute because she loves her bed. A big scratch, yeah. And here is her roommate. <laughs> this is Minibus. <laughs> Hi, Minnie. Now, Minibus is one of our most famous residents here. She has had the pleasure of working with Steve. And you met her daughter and granddaughter earlier, Burrow and Ellie. And uh, Minibus, she, what can I say about Minibus? <laughs> she is a living legend here at the zoo. She is the queen of our wombats. Here we go that way, okay. This is typical. This is what we do. We put our harness on and we like to make our keeper work for it. And uh, everything is on her terms, as it should be, all right? You get to decide, yeah? Now, taking our wombats out for a walk is vitally important to us and to them. Not only does it keep them healthy physically, but it also helps us keep them stimulated both mentally and emotionally. Going on our wombat walks allows our wombats to really focus on those natural wombat behaviors. Minibus, who is our oldest wombat, she has a key area that she certainly loves to claim as her own, and that is where Bindi's old tree house is. 
You can very often see us walking minibus around there and her staking claim to her domain. All right, that is enough from me. Now it is time to put our wombats to bed and Crystal is going to show you our nighttime routine. When it's time to take the wombats to bed, we make sure their life-size burrows are nice and cosy. We set up their beds with a big pile of mulch, add some brows before we call them in for dinner, do our final checks and tuck them in Good night. Thank you so much for coming along and meeting our wombats. But on your next visit, keep your eyes peeled for our newest addition to the Australian Zoo family. 